Is this thing on? Oh yeah, another one down. Howdy Pipers, it's your old boy Sasquatch Piper here. And today, we are back on the commute. We've uh, had some time out. We've had a little uh, distraction, we'll say. But we're not gonna let that bring us down, are we? So it worked the other day, Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't know, whatever it is. Wednesday, we got a, a call from Mama Squatch that we could hear water running under the house again. Isn't that awesome? So I made the executive decision to go home an hour early because I had some things to do, like fix the plumbing under the house again, thanks to squirrels. You know, you know how much we love them squirrels. You know, I'm getting tired of relocating them. I'm gonna have to relocate them to heaven <laughs> from now on. This is getting old. So, let me tell you a little story about starting Tuesday or Wednesday, hey, whatever day it is. Someday I'll be retired and I won't care what day it is. Anyhow, I head home. I crawl under the house. Yeah, and it's not easy, especially when it's wet. And uh, we find the leak, and there had been a leak there before from the previous owners. So there was a nice hole cut and in insulation under the house already, and easy to find the leak so we had that we got that going and uh, we're gonna kind of combine two days into one here so be patient we fix that leak up call mama squat from under the house turn the water back on good to go no leaks and while I'm talking to her, I can hear water dripping really fast again. And I'm like, what the heck is that? So I tell her, be quiet. We're listening. And I'm looking with the flashlight everywhere, and I finally see something. Sure enough, there's another leak in a different spot. So we crawl over there. We fix that leak. And another slam dunk and then uh, well we're crawling out of the house a different route than we came in because we had to do a big loop under there for the you know multiple leak action oh we're running low here And what do we come across? Another leak. That's a, oh. There we go. Anyhow, we let the beard go El Natural today. But anyways, we come across another leak. So, I uh, cut the section of pipe out, it's PEX pipe which is freaking awesome. I, ooh, pardon me. If you ever are building a house, don't use PEX pipe for this reason alone. Easy to fix, but if the squirrels get under there, they're gonna chew it up trying to get water. And they get water all right, and they flood underneath my house, which is fantastic. So, I do something to my phone. Now my phone's acting up. I uh, cut the section of pipe out. I put another section in. I cut my repair piece a little too long. Call Mama Squatch. Turn the water back on. It cock 
the pot pipe off a little bit cockeyed there and it didn't I wasn't able to seat my clamp on the PEX pipe right it obviously seated crooked and uh, it was spraying water out okay turn the water back oh well let's get back when we were doing this fix we thought awesome we're out of clamps now so I was able to scrounge up another clamp in the bottom of my little box I had in there I thought I was out I had the one left did the fix well it didn't fix it it was spraying we had to make a trip to uh, the local hardware store get some more clamps went back under there you know my phone's acting up now too and the you know so I can't just call I'm banging on the floor <laughs> like an idiot screaming at the top of my lungs so mama squatch could try you know try to get her I don't even remember what I was calling her for oh to turn the dryer off or something so I could hear things anyhow so she thinks now I got about a one foot section of pipe gone and I'm sitting there she thinks I'm saying turn the water on <laughs> well she turned the water on <laughs> Oh my goodness, and now I'm screaming because this water's just shooting out all over me. I'm already covered in mud and soaking wet. Oh, it was a nightmare. Kind of funny though when it was all said and done. Anyways, we get the other clamp, blah, blah, blah. We get it all fixed up. Boom. We fixed our plumbing again. Water pressure feels normal finally everything's great so I get to working on the car changing the fuel pump because we thought that was out well it didn't what the heck's going on here it wasn't the fuel pump I had another idea there's a little light ring around your where your key goes in the ignition here and I had a feeling that it had something to do with that so I start taking that, take that little piece out, unplug it, take it out, and start taking it apart. Sure enough, there's a little wire. Uh, not connected on one end. And I play with it, plug it in, and the car starts right up. There's a $600 fuel pump for nothing. That was pretty awesome. A $250 battery for nothing. That was pretty awesome. Anyhow. <laughs> What a couple of days, huh? So we take it apart, have to search for the soldering iron, and I glob up the little piece. I'm going to have to order that piece just in case because that wire, such a fine wire, it could break easily. 2017 Camry. You don't think you're going to have these kind of problems yet on cars that are supposedly supposed to run forever. So we got that going we're finally back on the road it's friday i should have just taken the day off but whatever i only worked what three days this week and i still get paid for the days off i had and i don't really call in sick unless i really have to and i had to yesterday i had to take care of everything you know we got everything taken care of hopefully no more leaks i need a break the old body sore from crawling around under that house trying to scoop my creeper along on top of plastic and lumpy dirt and everything else and pipes and or not pipes but electrical and you know your sewage pipes and all that up down all around so we're good to go now and i guess the key to this story of your old boy squatch's positivity is did it bring me down? Heck no. Last night I get a call from Brody Joe. We've texted a lot and, you know, talked through video, I guess you could say. And he got a little gift I sent him and it was it was nice just hearing how grateful he was and 
just so you know, Smokey Joe, you're very welcome. And you know that no return fire required. It's not why I do it. I do it because I appreciate you, brother. Anyhow, but, you know, he's a wordsmith. And uh, he tells stories. So, you know, we yacked it up back and forth. I got to hear some stories and about where he lives and stuff. And it just sounds really awesome. And it was just nice, you know, put a smile on my face. I mean, not that I wasn't smiling anyways, but, you know, it was a nice break from the funk. And it was just awesome talking to my buddy. Anyhow, you can't let those things bring you down. Life gets tough. Sometimes there's no people there for you. Sometimes you don't have the money. Uh, I'm blessed enough. I'm not saying I'm rich by a long shot. But, you know, I'm blessed enough that I had the money to do these repairs and on the car and the house. And I know how to do it. So that in itself is a blessing. But don't let it bring you down, you know. There's there's help somewhere. Even if it's from the big fella above, you, you'll find somebody to give you a hand, you know, where you may need it. And you got to keep on pushing. Keep on trucking, man. It's not the end of the world. Life moves on, whether you like it or not. So you might as well like it. Anyhow... Just wanted to give you all a short story of what's been going on the last couple days and say happy Friday, because Fridays are awesome. Even if you work the weekends, Fridays are still awesome. Set the mood, you know, knowing it's Friday. Even, like I said, even if you work on the weekends and stuff. And then Mondays, it sets the same mood of, oh my God, even when I've been a weekend worker and Monday was middle of the week for me, per se. It still has that, that feeling, just like Friday has that good feeling. But, oh. Woo! We ain't coming down! <laughs> Anyways, you got to keep it positive, man. You got to keep feeling good. You got to keep moving on, pushing forward. Get through it. It's gonna, you're going to make it eventually. Be patient. Hang in there fight for that feeling because sometimes that's what it takes Sasquatch Piper out